Hi guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can use an enum and how you can flag them. So let's get started. So first thing first, you need to create a C sharp script. So let's call this one uh, enum uh, enum script, okay? Script and let's open Visual Studio. So the script is open. So now let's try to declare our first enum. So let's serialize it. So serialize field and let's call private enum and let's call it position object. And I will explain it just after. So so let's say my position object will be none or oh, it can be center, it can be left, or it can be right. And after I need to create another function, another, not function, but another serious field, and let's call it private uh, position object, and let's call it my position object. So basically what I've done here is just I create a state of my game object. So this is very uh, useful when you try to have a state of the game object. So let's say I want to know if my game object, I want to know the position of my game object, if my game object is center, left or right. I can do that. I can do this. For example, I can say, okay, let's say public int um, position. I can do position game object. So let's say that. And in the inspector, when I will go back to Unity and I create my game object, I can say, okay, let's create my game object. And I say, let's reset it. And I drag and drop my my enum script and I say okay so 0 will be center 1 can be uh, left and 2 can be right but the problem with this way to coding is you can very easily can be lost and um, sometimes when you got a lot of, of sync and you got a big project the problem is you can be uh, easily lost so this is why it's way better to use state because with the state um, you can't make mistake I mean it's very obvious when you say right left or center and um, something is something very nice it's using the enum with a switch so let's create for example a void uh, my enum test for example my enum test function and let's say switch and um, f and i want to switch on my position object so my position object and just um with mac i just press option enter it will ask me if i want to do all the um, instructions so I say yes and just like this all the case can be can be can be done so um, let's say um, if my state is stayed on the center let's put debug dot log uh, my position game object my position game object is center and I will do this for all the other one just a center this one will be left and the other one will be right and and I will call my new test function in the start and what I'm gonna do I will go back to unity so and uh, I already drag and drop my enum script. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I go on my main camera and I will put projection to auto, autogra autographic to be more precise uh, what will, will it become. So um, if I go back to my enum script, as you can see, I can choose between none, center, left or right. And if I choose right, 
you will see on the console. Let's press play. And as you can see, um, if I go back now to my uh, script, what what it's, what it's done? It's just my enum. I because I choose left, I just switch on my position because my position can be center, left or right. And I go to the switch and I say, okay, so is it position none? No. Is it position center? No. Is it position left? Say yes. So because it's position left, it will do what is inside the position left so um, this is a very easy way and oh, sorry it was right but you get you get the point um, but this is a very easy way to to use the enum and this is a basic of enum and as you can see on my other video it's very useful and powerful tool to use um, on the function so now we just see the base is a basic of of the enum but what if my cube right now is in the center not right so let's put in center but what if i got other cube like this so sorry uh, let's duplicate one two three four five all right so let's say my cube number two will be here so it will be at the right side the cube number Two, three will be on the left side so this one you say okay this is very basic i just need to grab my enum and say okay i can put this one to left to right and i put, uh, and i select select this one and i say okay let's put this one to left but what if the cube number three is not in the center but right now is in the center but up and same are the cube four it's not only on the right side, but up right side. Same as cube five. If I do this, left, but left up size. And I can do uh, both to seven, eight. And this, um, this seven, uh, the six will be, uh, will be center, but lower. The seven will be right and lower and the last one will be left and lower so how can i make this um how can i select multiply uh, multiple um position so first thing first we will go back to my script and you can say oh okay what can i do is just i can add other position I say okay I can add up left up right etc etc but this is very annoying because I already got the left and the right and I already got the center what can I add is maybe the up upper part and I can add the lower part and we not forget the middle part but how can i say uh let's go back to unity so how can i say this one is the middle center this one is the middle left this one is the middle right this one is the upper left etc etc because as you can see right now i can't choose if i go on this one i want to this one to be left and middle but if i click left this not allow me to use middle so what we can do we we'll use flag so don't panic is very easy so um upside the the private uh, upside the sorry uh, upper the serious field i will add a system so let's say let's call it system dot flag and right now what it allow me to do is if I go back to unity so let's select a cube and right now as you can see it's defined by everything by default so let's take uh, back and say none and right now what flag allow me to do is I can select multiply check so for example this one I can say okay it will be center but I can check another one and I say center middle but if I do this as you can see everything is showing so how can i make this disappear i can how 
how can I handle this problem? So let's go back to our script and let's put some digit after the enum. So I will explain this after. So all right. So as you can see, I add some numbers. So 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So basically, if I don't add, um, I don't add anything low. So if I don't add number, uh, when you choose, uh, when you choose some, um, when you choose the, the value, it will basically um, take the addition of the number. Um, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna say is here it's the same as two power. So let's put this in the commentary. So when I put one is the same as two power zero. This one is same as two power one. This one is the same as two power two. This one is the same as two power. Sorry, power. Three. This one is same as two. Oops. Two power four, and this one is the same as two. Oops. Two power five. Not forty-five, but five. So basically, right now, two power zero it will be equal to one. Two power one it will be equal to two, etc., etc. But what? What is interesting is if I choose center and if I choose left, if I uh, if I sum up the two of them, so one plus two, it will be equal to three, and none of the other one will be equal to three. And this is why we use um, a base to 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 attribute our 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 variable. Just for example, if I put right equal to three. If I mix center and left, you will see the right will be cross. So let's go back to Unity and let me show you. So as, as I say, if I cross, I say, I guess it was center. Yeah, center plus left will be equal to right. So let's try it. So center, so only center is cross. And if I cross left, as you can see, right is cross. So this is why we are using um, a base of two because you cannot um, we with uh, with some all the um, all the, um, the enum you will not be able to um, go back to another value. I hope um, I hope I'm I'm making clear what I'm explaining because it's kind of. Um, difficult to explain. So that's it for the first part of the enum and flag enum of this tutorial. Uh, hope you enjoy the video and the content. Subscribe and thumb up if you like it. It will be very nice. And I catch you guys on the next part. Bye bye.